guys. It is Friday the 7th of December today and I'm off on a Christmassy weekend away in Devon with some of my friends. Will is going to be here with the dogs but I'm going off to Devon. There were meant to be eight of us. Um, now there's only going to be five of us. Uh, unfortunately three of the girls have had to pull out which is such a shame because a few of them I haven't seen in so long but I'm sure the five of us who are still going will still have a really nice time. Um, I haven't vlogged this week because it's been so full of just getting stuff done for uni and boring bits and bobs that I just haven't done anything. Um, but yeah, I'm waiting for my friend to come and get me now. Very excited. I always feel kind of stressed before I <laughs> go away though. Um, I'm always worried I haven't got everything or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm waiting for my friend Kirsty to come and get me now. She's going to drive me down there. The other three girls have already gone ahead of us this morning and they were going to do a food shop and have it all ready when we arrived because we didn't finish work till 12. Um, but yeah, exciting. I'm only going for Friday and Saturday night, but I've got my little mini suitcase, my handbag, coat and scarf, and a bag of food and snack bits to take with me. Um, I honestly just... Don't, oh, just trodden on Archie's ball. Um, I don't know if I've got enough clothes with me. I never know if I've got enough clothes with me. In all honesty, I really don't have a lot of stuff that even fits me right now, you know, um, in Mean Girls when Regina George is like, these sweatpants are all that fits me right now. <laughs> That's me. Nothing fits me. I've gained weight. I'm feeling pretty rubbish about myself. A lot of my old Christmas jumpers, like this one, don't really fit me properly anymore. Um, but I've got the outfit that I'm wearing. I've got some jeans in my bag. Um, and I've got another two jumpers in there, I think. So I'll probably be alright. We're probably just going to stay in our pyjamas most of the weekend anyway, so I don't know why I'm worried, but yeah. Look at this lovely view. We're right next to a church. It's got this big garden. And then there's all these fields. Hi everyone, so I figured I'd better let you know what's been happening over the last couple of days because I haven't filmed. Um, sorry about this terrible lighting situation, I've got my iPad in front of me trying to give me some light because it's 5 to 8 and it's so dark in my house so I've got less than 5 minutes to explain everything to you. So I had a really lovely weekend away with my friends, uh, we went to Devon, I didn't film it because it was really meant to be just a Christmassy getaway. It was actually for one of my friend's birthdays, but um, yeah, we had a really lovely time. We just stayed in our pajamas, ate loads of food and watched Christmas films and it was just exactly what I needed. It was brilliant. Um, came back on Monday, uh, came back on Sunday afternoon, went back to work on Monday and on Monday evening I got a call from my mum saying that my brother had been rushed into hospital. Um, and I won't go into masses of detail because kind of similar to the health issues my mum's been having I feel like it's not my story to tell and I don't know how much he would be comfortable with me saying but I felt like I had to let you know in some way because it kind of explains why I haven't been producing the videos that I promised you know I promised vlogmas videos and festive fun you know and I'm not really delivering on it um, and this is why um, so for the past couple of weeks my brother's been really poorly um, and it 
has been creeping up for a couple of months, I think, but a lot of his symptoms are similar to what like typical teenagers are like. Um, but in the last three weeks, it's been really bad and my mum keeps taking him to the doctor. They kept saying his blood tests were normal. They couldn't figure out why he was so ill. Um, and then my mum spoke to a different GP yesterday, so a different doctor yesterday, on Monday, sorry. And um, he looked at all the results and he said, there are lots of things here that are not normal um, and you need to take him to hospital. So he was rushed into hospital and he's been diagnosed with a rare autoimmune condition, which means he'll be on medication for life. Um, and I think I've taken it worse than he has, to be honest, because I know what it feels like to be diagnosed with a lifelong condition. Obviously I have Crohn's disease, which is another autoimmune condition. We have lots of autoimmune conditions in our family, but um, yeah, I know what it feels like to be diagnosed with a lifelong condition and to know that you've, you've got it for life. Um, and it's just rubbish really. He's only 17 and it's not a nice condition to have. And it's not nice to know that you have to take steroids for the rest of your life because steroids are not exactly a fun time. <laughs> um, but he's been so brave and I'm really proud of him. And I'm just glad they know what it is because um, they did say that if it, if it had been left any longer it probably would have been fatal because it causes certain things in your blood to become so low that it's like at a fatal level. So that's really scary and I'm just glad they know what it is. But um, yeah, so that is why I haven't really been doing anything festive or filming because in the background for the last couple of weeks my brother has been really poorly and it's all like reached ahead this week. Um, so yesterday I tried to go into work and I was just too upset because I hadn't seen him at that point and I was just wo really worried and I was making it worse in my head um, than it probably was. So I got sent home, I went to see him in the hospital and um, they confirmed that he has got this illness um, and they were gonna be treating it and everything and sort of explaining to us what it was. Um, and then I went from there to university I had a meeting with my lecturer at half past one so I met with my lecturer to talk about my dissertation then I went to the library for a few hours and studied and then I went to my lecture until eight o'clock and it was my last lecture of the year so I don't have to go back now until the middle of January which is really exciting but I do have two assignments to write over this um, Christmas break but that's fine I feel a lot more confident with them now um, it's also my mum's 50th birthday tomorrow, so today I want to go into town and buy her um, some balloons and a card and all that sort of thing. I've got her present, um, but yeah, it couldn't have come at a worse time really. I'm hoping my brother gets let out of hospital today so that he can be at home with mum on her birthday, but I don't know. Depends how well he is and how happy the doctors are. But yeah, I'm approaching five minutes now. That is everything. <laughs> I'm glad I've updated you finally and Hopefully we can get some festive stuff in now. <laughs> well, I managed to get mum's balloons. <laughs> They're a lot bigger than I thought. And I got her an extra one as well. You can just so sort of see the pink reflection. Um, I got her another one as well. So she's got three balloons. They're definitely a bit bigger than I thought they were gonna be, but I'm really glad I've got them. And I got her a card and stuff as well. So now I'm gonna go to visit Liam in the hospital. I bought him some t-shirts because he has run out of plain t-shirts as well. So. I'm off to the hospital, need to try and make sure I don't park near my mum and dad's car so that they don't see these in my car. Hmm, <laughs> I hadn't thought of that. These are a bit bigger than I thought they were going to be. <laughs> uh, how am I going to get these over to mum's tomorrow? Oh well, it'll be fine. I'm going to put the bag back over the top of them to protect them. But yeah, cool. I like the colour, it's a nice rose gold. And then I got her just a nice little special mum one because that is what she is.
Good afternoon everyone. I know I look a bit ill, um, but just bear with me. Um, it's Friday, so I thought I'd better update you further on what's been happening. Um, it's not Friday, it's Thursday. Wishful thinking. Um, so my mum um, is 50 today. I went round this morning and I gave her balloons and a card and her presents and a cake <laughs> and everything because my dad has had other things on his mind and my brother was in hospital and stuff, my other brother's in Australia, so I really wanted to try and make it special for her somehow. Um, so I went round to her house this morning and gave her a load of stuff um, before work and then I went back round there after work to just sit with her for a bit. Um, unfortunately she has had to go into hospital today for scans and meetings with consultation um with consultants and stuff because obviously she is still receiving treatment for breast cancer so not the kind of 50th birthday that you would want but you know what can you do we've just got to keep carrying on haven't we um even though it's her birthday she gave me presents um so she gave me a candle holder for my advent candle which she also bought me my advent candle and I didn't have a candle holder so she bought one for me and I've opened it up and it's broken and the candle doesn't fit in it. Not ideal. Um, but she also bought me my first ever poinsettia and it's in a cute little Christmas pot. So that's on my windowsill now. But yeah, I'm gutted about the candle holder and I know she will be as well so that's really rubbish but um, she can take it back I'm sure. But I also got some Christmas cards so I've had one from my friend Geraldine, which I forgot to show you when it arrived earlier this week. Um, this is from my lovely friend Amy and her dog Tilly. This is Tilly. <laughs> and then my mum got me a lovely one um, to me and Will, and it's got really nice words on the inside, and she's written me a little personal message as well, so that made me cry. But I know I've banged on about it before, but this should give you an idea of why I don't film very much anymore. Because I've just got home, it is quarter past three, and it's dark in my house. This is my craft room, dark. <laughs> this is my living room, dark. This footage quality, mm -mm, so good. If I stand in front of the window, I mean, you can see me, but it still is not good. Um, yeah, it's because of the hedges. These things that Will won't let me cut down. <laughs> because he thinks they, well, they do offer privacy from other houses, but it is so dark in here, I just can't cope. So I'm hoping that one day I will convince him to at least cut them down a little bit because they really do not need to be that high. Like, I'm sorry, I know that the Christmas tree looks lovely and my fairy lights on my Christmas tree in there look lovely, but it's so depressing in here. It's so dark, it's just horrible. I. I don't cope very well in the dark and I just want it to be nice and light in here so I can actually film videos. Right, so today is gift wrapping day. I've got lots of presents over here and Archie, lots of presents over here and my great big bag of wrapping papers and cards and ribbons and all sorts which apparently Archie wants to get into ready to go Will wrapped all of his nieces and nephews presents and his mums and dads presents and stuff so that's handy that means I don't have to wrap them although sometimes his wrapping is interesting but um, yes yeah, so I'm gonna try and get all of my presents wrapped today. I still have a few left to buy, but I'm getting to that point now where I just don't feel festive at all. Like, not even a little bit. Everything that's happened with my mum and my brother, I just can't be bothered. Like, loads of stuff in the house is broken. And I just, I'm not feeling festive at all. So I'm hoping that wrapping these gifts and watching the Christmas Chronicles will cheer me up a bit. This is what the weather has been like all day so I know the lighting's terrible but I've wrapped all my presents except my dad's present which I still need to buy a box for um, it's a breakable item so I don't want to just wrap it it needs a box really but everything is wrapped Archie's trying to pull the blanket off of Winnie like he does all the time this is 
for my friend Daisy over at My Green Cow. And then some of these are for work friends, but most of them are for family. Look at this cute bag I got for my mum. It's only from Asda. And this one was from Asda too. But yeah, so now we can go under the tree, finally. So it doesn't look that great right now because um, Will's had to move some stuff in here that doesn't belong in here. But while I was away last weekend, he stripped all the wallpaper in this room and painted it. We still need to repaint the ceiling as you can see. But he did a really great job and he's moved a lot of his office furniture in here because this will eventually be his study and his office. Um, he's already put some of his games consoles up here so he was up here playing his um, PlayStation last night. But yeah, so this was the room that had the pink and purple bird wallpaper. A lot of people in my videos actually said they really liked that wallpaper and asked if we would be keeping it. But I was like, no. <laughs> we like neutral colors in this house. Um, but yeah, so he's painted it. It looks so much better. And because he's moved his office furniture into there, it means we could start doing this room. So, Wills is stripping wallpaper in here today. He's done an amazing job. Literally like an hour ago, this whole room was covered in wallpaper and now he's just doing like the last stubborn bits. So this is eventually gonna be the spare bedroom. And um, we're gonna have a day bed in here that pulls out into a double bed um, for guests and things because part of the reason I liked this house was so we could have a spare bedroom and actually have people to stay. <laughs> 